worship is from 2 Corinthians. For God made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. Let us pray together. Gracious God, this is your day, gifted to us as Sabbath rest, and we will rejoice in it. Bring peace to these busy lives and calm our anxious hearts. Gracious God, this is your day, gifted to us a Sabbath rest, and we will rejoice in it. Amen. This week's psalm is a very well-known psalm, Psalm 23. And as usual, you can say the writing that's in bold on the alternate verse. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Almighty God, what a blessing you have lavished upon us, that we can be known as children of God. What a treasure you have presented to us, with this pearl of great price, the Word of God. What a privilege you have bestowed upon us, made citizens of the Kingdom of God. What harvest you have prepared around us, all who are seeking the mercy of God. Lord God, we come before you in this time of worship, in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Saviour. Amen. O God, our Heavenly Father, it would be wrong for us to say that we have no doubts, for this world is trying to deny all we hold dear and is insistent in its cry. There are days when, like Thomas the disciple, we need to reach out to touch the hand that has led us these long years, to see the place where spear and nails have made their marks. Father, Forgive our doubts, and in times of temptation be our confidence, so close to us, that like Thomas, we might joyfully declare, My Lord and my God. We seek your forgiveness and mercy, in the name of the Christ who died for our sins. Amen. On this journey of faith, we trust in you alone, Good Shepherd guiding us along a path you are familiar with, leading us beside green pastures and quiet waters, feeding us with your word as rich refreshment for our souls, steering us from that which might tempt and divert, protecting us from that which might harm or destroy. Yes, we trust in you alone, Good Shepherd, on this journey of faith. And Lord, we thank you for your constant care. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheepfold. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life, only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. 
I have authority to lay it down, and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, ever and ever. Amen. Bless all of us who are met together this day, we pray. Bless the reading and listening of your word, the sharing of our fellowship, even if it's virtual, and the prayers that we have offered. Bless us, Lord, as we continue to journey together. Amen. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen.